Ladies, welcome to Superman Alpha, where we create the man that the world needs. Now, today's topic is how to get a date. Now, gentlemen, I want you to begin to take your life really, and I say really serious. You know, a lot of guys out there are not taking their life serious enough. Do you know that there are people dying and being born every day? And that your life is whatever you make it. So when you start taking it serious and start taking responsibility for the things you want to create within your life. You have 24 hours in a day, spend it being awesome. Now, now that that's covered, that's out of the way. We're going to talk about how to get a date. Now guys, I want you to think of your life as a business. You know, the reason why business works is because it has principles and rules and regulations which we follow to see success or profit. Now, as a man, you need to work on three things to get a date. Number one, you need to look good, you need to smell good, and you need to feel good. Business, business gentlemen, okay? Now, when you come to a business, what determines a person going to the business is number one, the way it looks. Before a lady or a woman knows about you, she's going to look at you. She's going to start calculating you and your value based upon how you dress, your body language, your eye contact, to see what type of guy you are. She's going to start putting you in a category of a lover, a friend, provider. You get to choose. She doesn't choose. You choose based upon the actions you show. Now, once you got that covered, I might say you have to look good, smell good, and feel good. Looking good means dealing with your fashion sense. Like I say, before a woman knows you, the first seven seconds she spends using what she, the information she has about you and calculate what, where you stand. So she's going to determine how she's going to react to you based on how you dress. Okay, so get your shit together, man. Love yourself. I know a lot of guys think that loving themselves means, whoa, ooh, 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 chop, 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 chest up, chest. No, no, cut the bullshit. Loving yourself means taking care of your body, uh, buying the best clothes for you, buying clothes that look good on you, so look good, okay, buy clothes that fit your physique, alright, don't be too tight, but not too loose, you don't want to look like a jeans in clothes, okay, now smell them, handle your hygiene, okay, imagine this, you know when you're driving on the road, and you just driving, you're not even paying attention to anything in the environment, but you want to flip the food, smell good boy, okay, the reason why smell is very important, because it identifies things, you know, you know what a hamburger smells like compared to what fish smell like, so, by you having a smell that's not too overpowering, but just gently caressing to the senses, it allows you to be distinctive. So when a woman smells that scent, she will automatically think about you. Now this increases your chances. So listen up. Next is feel good. Now you know how to feel good. Number one, eating the best foods, getting enough sleep, going to bed early, having a passion and desire, something that you're working towards. All are things that make you feel good. So when you feel good, it improves your vibe of interaction. So when you walk into a building and you naturally feel good about yourself, everybody else can feel it and read the energy. It's all about energy, guys. You must learn to continue to keep your power rested in the center of your body, in the center of your mind. So now, how to get a date? Once you have these three things covered, the reason why I say you want those three things covered because it increases your chances. Because you're going to be wasting your time. Because it's going to make it harder for you to get dates. And when it makes it harder for you to get dates, you're going to get discouraged. So the analogy is this. You are only as good as your tools. Those three things are your tools. Use them. Now, to get dates, you have to be able to interact with women on a regular basis. I have three types of guys. Three types of guys I have what you call, uh, I have documented. You have the guy which is, number one, the guy who's the lover. He always interacts with women. He's constantly trying to get in their pants. It's good. You have the guy, the introvert. The introvert guy is the guy who um, usually plays a lot of video games, stays himself, scared to talk to women. He doesn't get any better women. Then you get the third one, the guy who talks to women but fails. So, now, to get dates, you need to be direct and you need to be sure. Like I say, gentlemen, business. So now, when a woman sees you, I want you to see women as your customers. When a woman sees you, she sees, sees the storefront, the outside of the building. So my face, my grooming, my landscaping, which is the shape of my hairline, my collar, my uniform, whatever I'm wearing. That's the outside, the premises, okay? So as you see, she says, wow, this place looks pretty good. Now let's see what's inside. So the inside is the words you say, how you speak, you know, your customer service, okay? Your customer service is how you deal with customers. Hey, what's up, how you doing? Okay, uh, how can we help you today, okay? Now, in applying to dating, 
you need to be a guy who's already friendly. Meaning that get used to interact with people. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. All right, nice seeing you. All right, nice shirt. All right, nice shoes. By doing that, improves your vibe. Because in order to get a date, you need to be able to interact with women. So now, getting a date. Now, number one, you have two options. You have the stranger approach, and then you got the friend circle. Now, friend circle works easy because you already have accountability through other people, meaning that people already know you or she already, already know who you are, so therefore there's more familiarity. Now, the stranger approach getting a date is much more difficult, but it requires three easy steps. Break it down. Number one, the open. When you go and you interact with a female, you need to be a little open. Now, most guys suffer from opening because they have approach anxiety. The first lesson is to learn to relax. By being more relaxed, you're able to decipher and interact with the environment better. So, for instance, let's say you see a girl. I want to first set, you have something called a three second rule. As soon as you see her, interact. Why? Because if you take too long, something else is going to happen. Someone else is going to talk to her. You'll be like, whoa, crap, I missed my chance. The longer you delay anything, the less likely you're going to do it, even when it comes to business and life. So, when you see a woman, quickly, first thing you want to say, excuse me. Boom. Now, when you say excuse me, you want to see excuse me from a level of power, not excuse me. Don't be creepy, okay? That's why you have to work on your inner game, which is looking good, smelling good, feeling good. These three things naturally allow your, your value level to increase. So you say, excuse me. Uh, this might be pretty random, but I noticed that you have a very, very nice shirt. You know, and it reminds me of Mickey Mouse. Use a cartoon reference. Oh, you remind me of Eliza Thornberry. I don't know if you guys and girls ever watch Nickelodeon. The most booming shows were as told by Ginger, uh, The Wild Thornberries, and Rocket Power. Right, so you want to use a reference that everybody knows. That's what creates familiarity. Can you just go there, like, hey, um, hi, I like your shirt. She's going to be like, okay. You need to learn how to be able to be relaxed. Hey, what's up, how you doing? Pretty cool shirt. You know, you remind me of Eliza Thornberry. You remember that show from Nickelodeon? Yeah. So, oh, sorry. Uh, I like to introduce myself. My name is Alex. Shake your hand. Because in order to get people or female more comfortable with you, she need, you need to initiate what you call kinesthetics or touch. Meaning that you have to interact physically. A handshake is just a simple gesture to show communication and respect. Hi, I'm Alex. Some people will be like, I don't shake hands. Okay, cool. Fist bump. Boom. 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 Okay. Hato Ken! Alright. Uh, big Street Fighter fan, by the way. Um, so, you want to be able to extend your hand. Or, or extend your fist. Hey, fist bump. Okay, cool. And then, what you want to do is, uh, so after small, I'll say, hey, listen, I'm having this real cool party, and you look like someone who in, should be interested. Join me. And she'll be like, uh, okay. That all depends on your vibe. Now, you're going to have to keep practicing. You're going to learn the, the basics to get good. But getting a date is simply creating an event for two people to go to. For instance, let's say my brother. If you have a friend, you'll be like, hey, so and so, man, but this is really cool, please, man. When you come with me to this place. Okay? Now, all depend on your level of what do you call reality, your control of, of your reality. People are going to believe you and be more liable to go with you if you, your, your reality is strong, meaning that your mindset and the way you say it, if it's really serious. So I say, hey man, man, there's a place really down the room, man, come see it. People be like, nah, okay, yeah, please. <laughs> like, hey, there's a really cool place down the road, and if you come with me, they're going to give you free hot dogs. What, really? Yes. Right this way. Okay, so you want to be able to set an appointment, a, a, a date. For instance, for when you have a meeting, an appointment, appointment is made at the interaction. Try avoid getting the girl's number and then schedule the date through text. No, I want you to schedule the date right then and there. Okay, say, so, hey, listen, you seem pretty cool. Let's hang up. Uh, meet me at a coffee shop. Okay, uh, let's try this play. I want to be specific. Don't leave all things. See, remember, in order to be thorough, you have to be allow yourself to be uh, detailed. Okay, and when I say detailed, you have to be specific. So you say, hey, listen, there's a place, real cool coffee shop in the mall. I know you're familiar, Coke House. Let's grab a coffee and we talk. Boom. Simple. So, um, any questions? Ask. That's just basic because there's a lot to cover. If you need any personal training, let me know and continue being awesome. And if I'm asking the Nitro Camp, Superman Alpha.
Be awesome, be a leader, be the best.